Now here in this video of link we will cover the generation operator which basically returns us the sequence of values created by this generation operator means that it will give us a new sequence of values. So in the practical implementation we will get the operators like default if empty empty range and repeat. So let's see a practical implementation to know better about these generation operators. So now in context of generation operators the first operator which we are covering here is default if empty. So basically default if empty will return the default value for a collection if it is empty. For example we know like dot and framework has a couple of data types like value type and reference type where in value type it the default value of the data type will vary as per the data type for example in case of numeric values it will be 0 similarly for the reference type the default value will be null so if my collection will be empty so this default if empty will return the default value accordingly so in this particular case it will not help us out because the collection is not empty when I will execute I will get the same output as we were getting in our previous videos like here you can see all the records got printed but if I will remove the data from this given list then let's see what will happen now the list is empty this default if empty will return us the default value for the class that is null and when you will call any particular property with the null it will give you a null reference exception so that is what I'm expecting here and that is what I got so obviously it is not going to help us out so in that particular case you can define your own default value for the operator so here I will just pass a default value as there are a couple of parameters with default if empty one is having zero parameters that is the default value will be returned and in the second uh, uh, overloading of this constructor you can define a default value like here this id 0 name blank salary 0 department 0 will be the default value for me so now when i will execute it when the collection is blank then it will give me the default value of the name that is blank all right so this is how your default if empty generation operator will work similarly in the context of generation operator we do have an operator called range which will be giving us the value from a given range that is, is in this example I'm taking it from 1 to 5 and make sure you are using directly enumerable class for this as all the things which we are doing here is provided by the enumerable class inside system.link so it is giving us values from 1 to 5 which we will calculate the scores with which we will calculate the squares and then we will put that in a variable of list enumerable type in the squares now here in the for each loop what I'll do I'll just keep printing the values of this square collection so let's see what is all there it should be the square of all the numbers alright that is 1 4 9 16 and 25 the square of 1 2 3 4 and 5 so this is how you can work with the operator range and similarly we do have an operator called repeat if you want to repeat some set of statements multiple times you can use the enumerable dot repeat so enumerable dot repeat will repeat the given particular task in for three times whatever number you will specify here and the things will be stored in the collection enumerable string strings alright and then in for each loop I will just read this variable strings and then it will show the output as per our request alright so you can see three times welcome to tutorials point got printed so this is how you can start working with the generation operator 